Hi friends. Uh, got a got a migraine today, but it's time to do a 30 30 days wrap up. So, looking over all of these pens and inks and sharing our thoughts and any favorites that we have. Although, pull up this blind a little. Yeah. The sun is coming right in my eyes. It's fine. Everything's fine. So, hi. I hope you're having a good day. I'm hoping I'm going to post this on the day that I'm filming. It's, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know the date. Maybe the 6th? <laughs> Here we are. Here is our month. Now, I'm going to give you the caveat. This camera does not produce colors, reproduce colors accurately. Most don't. Most blues and greens are going to look more blue. So in the camera... This looks like a straightforward blue, blue, but it's turquoise for sure. It says turquoise, 100% it is turquoise. This tab one is a purplish blue, sure, but it's definitely purple. So that's the caveat. Don't count on videos to know if the ink is, any ink is the right color for you. Um, unless it's like really highly produced video. So anyway, great, rant over. So... Here's the month. Obviously, I did a rainbow of sorts because no orange. And then when I look at a picture, it's like, you have a lot of blue and purple, Maria. Yes, I do. I like blue and purple. It's okay. I'm allowed to have as many as I want. So um, how I went about 30, 30 days this, this month was I picked out the 30. I laid them out, you know, to see, like... Did I like the order of them? And I played around with the order a fair amount. Then I picked out which pen for which ink because I definitely had to pick certain pens for my shimmers. I didn't want to end up with like a shimmer ink in my Pelican or uh, in a fine nib or whatever. So I did pay good attention to that. Now... These are all the pens that I wrote basically dry. Not this one with Cranberry Twinkle, but I'm emptying it anyway. Not this one with Golden Barrel, but again, I'm emptying it anyway. All of these have no more ink in them. And then here's some other ones that have varying amounts of ink. I think I wrote one more journal entry and then it was out of ink so cleaning these out um how did i use my pens well obviously these oh that was a real i love this thingy um i i did all these i have a journal in which i write my thoughts i have my this is a hobonichi Cousin, which is an A5 size planner. And what I do in here is, I'll show you this. We're just going to flash it. Boop. And I did a swatch of the ink at the top of the page. This I use for tracking. I mean, there's nothing inappropriate here, but I use for tracking um, how much I've walked and if I pigged out on anything or had drinks. And then these I will not share. But I have thoughts. Hopefully, um, whatever, uh, that are in here. And I wrote in this every night. And I did go out of town. And what I did is for those days, I actually wrote in a different journal. And then when I got back home, I copied them in here with their appropriate 30 inks, 30 days inks. Just to be extra nerdy. The other main thing I did was I started a transcription of this book, The Vanishing Shadow. I'm really worried that, like, it's too dark now. Let me see here. Please hold. Okay, we're going to try. Oh, oh, please don't fall over, lamp. You know my struggle with lamps. I love lamp. Do you really love lamp? Um, okay. I feel like lamp did nothing. Well, 
here. Lamp is apparently going to just, just gently fall. Because that's what you want from a lamp, is it for it to fall over. Let's just weight down the back of it with a pink cushion. This wouldn't be, a, this, you know, this is just like on brand for me. Video problem. So, okay, this was probably one of my favorite things that I did for 30 inks, 30 days. Um, this is a journal I made. Um, I think I'm going to actually have to add another signature to finish the book. I didn't finish the book. But what I did, the paper in here has a paper of 68 GSM Tomoe River in white, a page of um, bank paper from Yamamoto paper, and a page of Cosmo Air Snow, which is the white version of like Cosmo Air. So for every day, I wrote three slash six pages with each ink. And like, I really loved this because it gave me a really in-depth view of how the ink and in the particular pen acts on whichever paper. And there were days, well, talk about luck, that were torture. I believe this was one that was difficult. This is, uh, I think, Dawn. And I was just like, I hate my life right now. It didn't. It really didn't want to write. So what I've discovered is that the bank paper works well for um, lubricated inks, but it does not tend to work well for drier inks. This down here, the reason it looks so blobby is I had to keep writing over it. Um, so it was interesting because we talk about like um, that it's not the ink, it's not the paper. Wow, I missed these two. Um, it's not the um, pen, it's the combination of the three. And this really shows that. But So at the very least, this is the same ink and the same pen, but on different papers. And there are some that w looked like different colors. So I know in some of the blues, so that would be back here a little bit more. Um, the difference between colors was staggering to me. Um, like, here's a really good example, I think. If you look, this is a... Cosmo Air Snow. And you look at how, to me, this is like a bright, vivid blue. And then you look at this bank paper and it lacks that same vividness. And the Cosmo, and the, and if you look here, at these two, even this one isn't quite the same. So pretty fascinating. Oh, this is Gorgeous. I think this is California in the um, my Franklin Kristoff. We could check. We go back to here. No, it's not. Oh, this is KSLV2. Is that right? This is Cat. No. Yes. Yeah, this is KSLV too. Gorgeous. Okay, Maria, are you going to stay on track? So, another example of Cosmo Air Snow just having very different color for the same ink. So here, this ink, this is one ink. This is the same ink. And I hope it shows up on camera that they do not look like the same ink. This to me looks like this is probably Cenote. Yeah. And Milky Ocean. You can see, oh, this one was 
torture on this. I was just like, can I please be done? I, I was just like at the point where I wanted to throw my pen. Um, so I'll say this. What I've discovered is for the... Um, For the less lubricated, the drier inks, like Troublemaker, Milky Ocean, like Dawn from Colorverse, etc., Cosmo Air Snow definitely makes them behave. Their shading is incredible on this. It's very pronounced. So you can see how dry the start of those are. And um, here's the Tamoy River. It, they, it behaved fine on this. It didn't make me want to chuck my pen across the room. Um, this paper, no. I would not recommend bank paper if you predominantly like the really unlubricated inks. Now, part of that is hand oils. So I made this book myself. I had to light my just okay everything's fine yep everything's fine my light just fell over of course it did sorry about that um I made this book myself and I had to touch the paper to do so and where my finger oils went it resisted the ink um but it was particularly bad on this um so here's another one that I oh, know that is different inks, but look at that. That's really nice. I do like the way this paper sounds. <laughs> um, which matters. I might buy more and make another book of it. Just because it's delightful. It's delightful. Um, it's also fascinating to look at how the Tomoe or how the Cosmo or Snow affects line width. So I really, oh, this one I remember being really pronounced the difference. Like this, this, this is the same ink. It just doesn't even look like it. Fascinating. Um, I really enjoyed this. It was a lot of writing. At the start of the month, my arm was hurting from it. Um, by the end of the month, my hand had remembered how to write. Oh, this one was particularly painful. This might be Petrichor. Um, so... I didn't finish the transcription. Here I am. Here. Here's another one that, like, it looks blue on this page and definitely gray on that one. So I have, I'm on page 191 of 218. So I have some more to do. I don't have enough paper in here. I'm going to have to add more. Maybe two more sections. But this was great, and I love having this as a reference um, and looking over. And I'll tell you, one of my favorites, I saw it just now, was this Alt Goldgrun in the vintage pin that I have. That was so fun. It's so expressive because it just has such bounce and, and flex in the nib. And the ink really shows this off well, I think. Um, you can see up here how I could get really thin lines. I wasn't trying to do anything fancy. I was just writing. But you get really thin, light lines and thicker down strokes. And it's gorgeous. I think I really wish I could keep it. But I, it really feels like probably years of it being used by a writing makes it not as great for me. Um, so favorites, well, obviously Tsutsuji, love it, love it. Look at it on the Cosmere Snow. It jumps out. 
Yamabudo, of course. Again, pop. Um, I started writing with the wrong ink. I fixed it. I love gummy. Wait, does it still? Still smells. Great. Um, I like Cranberry Twinkle on this paper. Pillars of Creation. Nice. I feel like I like the color because it looks a little more purpley on um, Cosmo Air. Wait. No, not. Yes. And Rider's Blood. Definitely purpley. I love Red Dragon as a red ink, but I don't like it as much on the bank paper. Um... Yeah, all gold grown. Definitely a favorite. So, so far, Tsutsuji, all gold grown. I do love this spirit in my, um, oh, this pen is in the other room, my Santini. Because it has a, a flexi, an expressive nib. This was California in the Franklin Kristoff. And this ink in that pen was almost too wet, um, especially on this Cosmo Air paper. Love it. I really like also um, turquoise. Lummy turquoise. Kyanite Dune Nepal. Gorgeous. Um, cat. Love it. I mean, I can't, Maria, you, not all the blues can be your favorite. Yes, they can. Do I have a blue that isn't my favorite? No, I don't. <laughs> no. Um, so, uh, I forget his name, but over at the Wet Pen uh, on YouTube... He really loves Cosmo Air Snow, and he's kind of who made me seek it out. And he's right. <laughs> For all the reasons he loves it, I also love it. Ink colors just pop. They look like themselves only more. It's like adding salt or MSG to a dish. It's like it, whatever was there is now better. Um, this one is Dusk. And I like Dusk a lot. This the shimmer is a little more subtle in in, in the um, dominant industry inks, but I I love I really liked writing with them. So dusk and dawn, I really liked both of them. Oh, and listen to that. Oh, love it, love it, dork. Um. Oh. So I like Royal Starfish, and actually, I felt like this pen was a pretty good match. I don't like fine nibs, but because this is so juicy, like, look at how blobby it is all over the place, because this, that's the one problem I have with it, these super saturated inks, they just never dry. And it's not because I'm left-handed that I'm having these problems, it's because they don't dry. Um, abalone I love. But not on this bank paper. I don't like the color of it on this bank paper. Look at the... It's far more green on um, Tomoe River. Far more blue on Cosmo or Snow. And far more, you know, whatever. This book was, like, intense, by the way. I highly recommend it. Um, I didn't love Petrichor. I think this was in my Lamy 2000, and I was like, eh. Yeah, the bank paper tends to make inks look more green. Or maybe better, the Cosmo Air Snow brings out blue undertones. So maybe that's part of why I like it. Maybe the wet pen too, because he really likes blue inks. Uh, at any rate. Yeah. So that's my 30 inks roundup. Did we discover anything? Uh, I have at least 30 inks. Um, and I can prattle on about them at length. My sister thinks I'm a nerd for it. She's not wrong. 
Um, favorite pins? Well, new ones are frequently favorites. I... I'm disappointed with my Le bon skeleton because I've moved away from fine nib sizes. So I need to find a way to love it again because look at it. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. One of my favorite pins of all time is turning out to be this Twisby VAC 700R. Um, I can put whatever ink in here and it will just write. And so it's really good with those um, multi-chromatic, like, unlubricated inks. It's good with shimmers. I adore it. And that made me think that I would like all the other Twisbees just as much, but I don't. I like them, but this nib is better. So it does make me wonder if I should just get another VAC 700R. That doesn't have to be Iris. Um, I, so I really liked this pen. I love, I did love my Franklin Kristoff. I love my woodshed pens. I loved my brand new Carolina Pen Company pen. These are the two that turn out to be the same color. I'm, I apologize because the lighting has now gone off on here. Um, my Twisby Goes are always solid. I mean, now I'm just pulling out pins that I like the look of. But that's okay, too. Um, hmm. Others that I feel like I should highlight? Oh, I came to... I When I got this in the stub nib, I was like, Ugh, why did I do this? I don't like it. I've made my piece. I like it more now. So I'm excited to use this with another ink. Um, but I think these are my standout favorites. There's a theme here. There's a theme here. Uh, broad nibs is the theme. Broad nibs in the color blue. So I guess... This 30 inks 30 days is brought to you by Broad Nibs and the color blue. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble. I hope it makes sense. Again, it probably doesn't make that much sense because migraines make your brain not work so good. Um, brain make people dumb. Um, anyway, have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you again soon with another delightful ink fun video. Bye.